We usually define infertility as a couple who's had trouble conceiving for over a year. There are a number of factors that can affect a couple's chances to get pregnant. There are female factors and there are male factors. Male factors account for approximately a third of, of fertility issues, and female factors may account for the balance with about 15 to 20 percent of infertility being unexplained. Probably the most significant impact on female fertility is a woman's age. A woman is born with her full complement of eggs, which decline even before birth. So female fertility peaks in the mid to the late 20s and tends to decline thereafter. Aging and fertility is a continuum, and when a woman or a couple seeks care will depend upon that couple's level of anxiety and many other factors. A woman who's in her mid-30s should consider seeking at least a workup, if not initiating treatment, if it's been more than six months of unsuccessful attempts at trying. A woman who's younger than 30 might wait even longer than a year, so there's no hard and fast definition. For women who are in their early and mid-30s, and even a woman who's in her early 40s often has a good prognosis. So how age affects female fertility is really dependent upon that individual person. And there are some tests that we could do to assess how someone's age has affected their fertility. The screens are usually termed screens for egg reserve or, of, or ovarian reserve. These tests consist of both ultrasound, looking at the size of the ovaries, something that we call a basal antral follicle count, as well as blood tests. These blood tests usually are done on the, on the second or the third day of a woman's menstrual cycle, and they consist usually of an estrogen and an FSH. Another consideration is how many children a couple is planning on having. Obviously, if you're planning on having more than one child, age may not be a consideration for the first child, but may be a consideration for subsequent children that always needs to be factored in. So, Family building and someone's long-term plans for family always have to be factored in their totality, and age has to be included in that equation. With a focus being on female age during this discussion, I should emphasize that women who are in their mid-30s, women who are in their early 40s, often do have success with fertility treatments. It does vary from person to person, however, but I should note that we have women who get pregnant with their own eggs, who are 44, 45, and even 46.